Don, are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's get close to us and start telling it. Are you, what, now, what do you think of your award here? Is that what you was after today? No, nah, we, we come uh, up here. We, we got the magazine just recently. Uh-huh. And uh, saw there was a truck show and decided we'd just come up here and just check it out. Uh-huh. Well, what, that's not an insult, is it? No. <laughs> no. I've heard worse. About okay. It. Uh, well, I like, the under the hood looks pretty good. You want to talk that for, about that for a second? Yeah, we uh, we picked the truck up in March, uh -huh. and it had a '59 AB flathead in it, which is a pre-48 engine. Uh huh. And we bought this for a rat rod project, and it was on an engine stand. So we That's went through it, checked all the tolerances in the lower end, uh -huh. and uh, wire wheeled everything down and painted it on the engine stand. Oh, that's beautiful. Your sediment bowl doesn't even have any sediment in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, it came, cool. came with two fuel tanks. One had been cleaned. Uh -huh. So I just swapped the fuel tanks out with a clean one. Uh-huh. Cleaned the line in between, put all new wiring. Uh -huh. Had to search around for a generator. Uh -huh. Make it six volt. Uh, Open the door, talk about your interior a little bit. I mean, I kind of like it. What do you think? What the, <laughs> the floor was gone, especially on the passenger side. It was there as a frame rail. Uh huh. Got it, the floorboard thing, and I one night I was up till midnight putting that all in. Uh huh. Uh huh. The seat had been eaten by a raccoon. Uh huh. And uh, we took the foam off, and there had been mice living inside all yeah. the springs. Yeah. And, yeah. 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 So I had a seat cover, and we just put a couple foam pieces on there uh -huh. and strapped it in. Uh -huh. Instrument clusters out of F5. I see. And it's got first, second, third on the speedo, which. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. You know how to get uh, mice and stuff out of a truck or out of a vehicle with slow firecrackers in there. <laughs> I'm serious, and they'll take off in a minute. <laughs> yeah, we got decon in there right now. <laughs> That's good. Well, okay, what about the back here? Not much to the back. Mm -hmm. All dry rotted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. So what are you planning on doing with it? Are you going to uh, just uh, keep the engine hopped up? Are you going to go nuts on the body? or The orig what you original intent was to probably restore it. Uh -huh. From what I've gotten from people at shows, they love it just the way it is. And yeah, I'm yeah. loving it the way it is, and I'm yeah. just gonna leave it. Yeah, there's a whole group that say uh, rust is good. Yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so you're joining me. You're, are you going over to the dark side? Is that it? <laughs> I wouldn't call it a dark side. I mean. <laughs> But you're leaning that way, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we call dark siders or people with Chevy engines in them. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a good. Yeah, we well, keep Fords in our Fords. What do you, what's fun about this, or what do you like to do with it? Do you know? Well, it all started in 2005. My uh -huh. mom come home from work and saw that on the side of the road. For uh huh. Sale. Uh huh. And, uh, Dad picked that up, and I was just in middle school high school yeah didn't much care about cars and he started he pulled the whole front end off of it was rebuilt he uh -huh. painted the engine uh-huh and then uh it was all flat black and then we moved back to michigan uh -huh. georgia and i was learning how to drive and i was like you know this is i started driving it was primer the cab was primer black right. all the way up to the front and then the bed was all original green and uh -huh. i drove it to the weekly car show every week every uh -huh. week i was up there and Pop the hood and be all this nice, brand new looking engine. Uh -huh. Uh huh. So, drove it for a while and then I was like, well, I want to paint it. So, we painted it and then it's just evolved from there. And we bought a 60 truck while we lived in Georgia. Worked on restoring it and then the 52 F1 and then we bought this 50 just recently. So, they, uh -huh. they kind of find us. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, how long have you had this one then? Since March. Uh huh. March of this year. Uh -huh. So, uh, what's your next part? Uh, I mean, you know, you're gonna, would you keep it outside? Is that what you're gonna store it outside right now? Uh huh. Because uh, that, it, we have a single car garage that's attached from the house, and we have a two car attached. Uh huh. And the 60s in the attached with my mom's daily driver, and this mm -hmm. sits in the other garage. Well, the question I got uh, to guys that like the Rusties 
okay is there a point of too much rust or is all rust good rust <laughs> there's visual rust is good but when it becomes uh, her anything that mechanical yeah, wise yeah you gotta fix it okay because there's a lot of things that should be rusty yeah right i understand like the, the engine that's it a good, can look rusty but it's the internals can't be rusty yeah, it's a good explanation anyway uh, i like it congratulations on your award and uh, thanks for your time thank you okay that's beautiful